Chris. Hey there, my name is Chris, and for the Chainlink Hackathon, I put together an app called Block Freight. Now, some of you might be familiar with apps like Flexport that let you track and manage your inventory from a centralized platform. Now, the problem with this is that often the data is held centrally within these platforms, subject to custom terms and conditions, and often modified by their internal teams. And to use Flexport, you would need a full B2B subscription app. And I wanted to see if I could use Polygon and IPFS to create a simpler, more accessible version of this that uses blockchain as the infrastructure rather than a centralized database. Now, if you look at common shipping problems, uh, there could be a multitude of things that go wrong, uh, such as delivery days, loss, damage, and many firms, if they're not using apps, they're using Excel spreadsheets or email, which are even less trackable in practice. So moving over to the app, BlockFreight leverages a few different technologies to enable anybody to track any parcel using just their uh, Polygon account and connecting their wallet to do the heavy lifting of user management. So the way this works is you simply connect your wallet and I have a example Polygon account already set up and just go to start tracking. From this screen, I can create any number of new freight requests that I want to track. Uh, so let's just say I had a test package. I wanted to add some notes for the other parties to see when they updated this parcel and you'll see how that works in a second. So let's just say I had a particular tracking code in addition to the default. Uh, I'll just put some example values there. Additionally, I can upload any image I want or any collection of images that I want to represent the item. So I had a, the original box, um, but this could be a picture of anything. And when I deploy it, a few things happen behind the scenes. So one, the contract gets loaded with a certain amount of fuel to be able to perform chain link API calls about the package. And I'll show you how that works later on. Uh, the second is the image as well as all the metadata get uploaded to IPFS and more or less frozen on Filecoin as the freight progresses through its journey. Uh, after I create the contract, a few things get created. Um, you have the original contract. So for every freight, it's its own smart contract that is updated whenever somebody has a receipt of that item. Uh, the second link is the QR code. So in practice, this would get printed out and pasted to the actual object. And then someone could, from their mobile device could scan this and provide an update on the item. And I'll show you how that works. So if you scan this, it takes you to the tracking URL. And so this would be the page that the other viewer sees. Uh, the user's location is recorded. So this actually gets appended to the contract. Uh, the user can add new images. So for example, if the box was damaged, uh, he or she could upload that new image and say, uh, this was damaged on receipt and submit an update of that parcel. Now the exact same process is undertaken here. So the event gets recorded against that particular parcel on block rate. And now on the contract, you'll see a, a transaction with the image uh, and an event that gets submitted saying that the, the package was received, but it was actually damaged. And then lastly, the IPFS URL. So this actually has the metadata and the original image for the block freight transaction. If you go to the contract, you can see, again, the original deployment, as well as the update that was performed and an event that was emitted. So on the freight contract itself, you can see that when a user submits a parcel event, an API call gets made against Chainlink and against a geocoding API to look up the approximate location. So the user doesn't have to enter in anything. Uh, there's a match geolocation that gets appended to the contract and emitted uh, in real time when that update is performed. I can take that contract and as the owner go to the freight logs and look up any contract I want and get a list view of all the events that have happened against it. So this is a very easy way to look up uh, any contract that's been deployed as well as the history of the different locations that it's propagated through and the different images. All the code is available on my GitHub. I encourage you to check it out, but that's pretty much the Block Freight project and thanks for your time.